I'm Isaac Hadley. I'm one of the owners and founders of Coco Shrimp. I was teaching surf lessons. I just needed more work, more money to live in Hawaii and support my family. So I picked up a job working early in the morning prepping shrimp. I got the help of my brother who had moved there from the summer. That's where the idea was born. We, we would peel and do shrimp and we thought, how come nobody's taking this idea to the mainland of shrimp and turning it into a restaurant? And shrimp trucks on the North Shore are super popular and we saw those and how well they did. So we started like just talking about if we did it, what would the name be? And that's where we were like, we would just call it Coco Shrimp. And I just thought this would be so fun for something to take to Texas. I chose Texas because at the time that's where my parents were living and that's where I grew up because I didn't really have enough money to get started. I stayed with my parents and I built the first truck in their backyard. It wasn't overnight success. It was popular from the beginning. People loved it. We, you know, and that kind of kept us going because people always loved it. It was just me at the beginning in a parking lot by myself. But Jordan was in his hometown of San Clemente, California. One day he called me and he said, hey, you've been asking me to like join you for a while. Are you serious about it? And I was like, heck yes. Like it would be so much fun if I had somebody struggling with me. When, when we first opened the food truck, the old ambulance that we had, in the very beginning it was slow. It was super slow, right? You gotta build like a, the customer base, gotta let people know that you're gonna be there. And it was really hard to be consistent. We wanted to be dedicated. You know, we wanted to be there for the customers at all times. and so. We wanted to be different, you know, as a food truck in Fort Worth, we wanted to be different and so we set up shop in that Ace Harbor parking lot we stayed there for about five years. Every single weekend it would be hour, hour and a half wait times. And people would come and they would wait and we just thought there's no way people are going to put up with this. Like they're eventually just going to stop coming, this is ridiculous. It just became a no-brainer as we were like, we're basically, we're just running this like a restaurant. So it makes sense to do a restaurant where we can do more volume and put food out faster, create an ambiance. That was kind of one of the big moves towards the restaurant is we can, uh, we can really communicate like the vibe and atmosphere that we loved about Hawaii. We could really try to create that and give that to a customer. 